It was originally just an 85,000 square foot sports facility planned for the old stockyards area, but now the group behind the arena is give, getting even more ambitious. Thanks for joining us. I'm Diana Castillo and I'm Larry Wentz. They have now announced plans for a second large facility, this one in Morningside, and the second facility will actually open first. Our Katie Koppel spoke with the team behind the arena about their big plans for the future of sports in Sioux City. We're very excited to announce uh, phase one of the arena project. Right in the heart of Morningside, the Arena Sports Academy is gearing up to be a one-stop shop for youth sports in Siouxland as they move into the former home of Hobby Lobby. Not only is it going to be extremely convenient uh, for our Siouxland families, located right off of an interstate, uh, but it's also going to be attractive to regional and national programming and events. This 60,000 square foot facility will be a separate sports complex from the main building coming to downtown Sioux City. When we started taking a look at all the programming that we had, all the scheduling for outside events that were coming to town, we realized that we needed dual sites. The downtown location will be 85,000 square feet, and with a management agreement with an upcoming expo center next to their main facility, the arena will be one of the largest youth sports complexes in the area. So the arena will have access to or provide 250,000 square feet of complex. The Arena Sports Academy hopes to open its doors the fall of this year. And Jeff Carlson and Dustin Cooper say that once complete, it will be one of a kind. Most facilities, not only locally, regionally, but nationally as well, we've done our research. You know, most facilities, if they run a basketball tournament, they have to shut down their wrestling program. We won't have to do that. We can be simultaneously running numerous programs all at the same time, which again fits into our mission, which is providing those opportunities uh, for the most kids possible. The arena is already providing a number of programs and tournaments in the area, playing and practicing at off site locations. Everything from our leadership at the top to the directors to, you know, the, the, the kids that are currently coming into our programs, you know, there, there just isn't anything like it. The facility is going to be state of the art and that's something that that local programs don't have. Uh, you know, but I can see, you know, 10 or 15 years from now, uh, there may be a phase three, four and five, who knows? Uh, we just, we just want to provide excellence for the Siouxland area. Now, the arena once completed will also be home to the NAIA's GPAC offices and could host conference tournaments as well.